In this quick video, I'm going to share my perspective about one mistake that I often see people making when they begin to embrace a minimalist lifestyle. Break the switch. Like most things in life, minimalism is something that can be defined in many different ways. You may have people that practice minimalism by owning less than 100 items, or perhaps less than 50 items. You may have someone that practices minimalism by only putting one painting on each wall of their mansion. It doesn't matter how you practice minimalism, but it is super important to remember one thing. A common mistake that I see is people taking minimalism and using it to create just another impossible standard to live up to. By the end of this year, advertisers will have spent almost $600 billion creating their own unreachable standards for us to try to meet by buying their products. They are creating a life, happiness, and these ideals that they are saying we can have by buying the products they sell. And that is simply not true. So don't let minimalism become just another one of those things that you feel like you need to continually work towards or something like an image of the perfectly white wall and white bedspread and just filled with natural light. It doesn't have to look like that. If you want it to, it can, but that isn't what minimalism has to look like for you. And it's super important to remember that. You don't have to purchase a new, more minimalist bedspread. You don't have to purchase a more minimalist table. Maybe that'll be a good option for you down the road, but you don't have to do that to embrace the freedom that choosing to consume less and own less can give you. Mm -hmm.